Hello everybody and welcome back once again here to IndieSportsCrew.com. I'm the founder of the website Thad Van Evener and today on our most recent Monday Night Reaction we're going to look back at the Colts loss at New York. The Colts get drilled by the Jets 35-9 on Sunday and just completely got dominated by a team that has been up and down much like the Colts have this year. The Jets have struggled. Uh, they've had quarterback questions with Sanchez and Tebow, who they should play. Their defense hasn't been as playing as well as they have over the past couple years, but on Sunday they really put it all together, and they got their rushing attack going like they had when they went to back-to-back -back AFC Championship games just a few years back under Coach Ryan. And But for the Colts, it was a game where it was disappointment all around the team. There was not one aspect of the game where you can say that the Colts really put together a nice complete game in that one area and it was offense defense special teams even if you break it down by position groups you know offensive line defensive line linebackers no one specifically no one group had an excellent game and if no one has a good game you're gonna have off games on occasion and the Colts had an off game at New York and it was a road game the Colts second road game of the season and their first road game in 35 days that they played when they headed to the MetLife Stadium in the Meadowlands there in New Jersey, and the Jets just completely dominated the game, uh, basically from their first possession on. The Colts had a nice, uh, nice looking drive. They came back, they got a field goal. After that, the Jets completely dominated the game, basically for the final 50 minutes or so. A um, couple points we have to look at: rookie quarterback Andrew Luck struggled in a second road game. You know, he had some some struggles in his first road game, the season opener at Chicago against uh, New York. He had three turnovers, two interceptions, and a fumble lost, one interception in the end zone. Uh, missed a couple of throws that you would expect him to make. He missed uh, Kobe Fleener for a touchdown early in the game. Uh, he also missed uh, uh, Dwayne Allen on, on a I think it was third and one or third and two on an early in the game in a drive that could have kept a drive alive and maybe changed the tempo and pace of the game. Not saying that would have made a difference in, in the outcome of the game. The Jets, I believe, still would have won. But those are just little things that maybe Andrew Luck will, will have going forward. He'll learn from those mistakes. And, and But he just didn't have a very good game. You're going to have that sometimes with a rookie quarterback. They're not going to be able to put together a complete game. And Sunday was one of those games where Luck just struggled finding receivers. And part of that was because he didn't have a lot of time uh, coming from his offensive line. And we'll get to that in just a minute. But the lost... Uh, the second point I want to make is just how overall the Colts lost the battle in the trenches on both sides of the football. Uh, the Colts' defensive line against the Jets' offensive line. The Colts just did not get very much pressure on Mark Sanchez or Tebow when he did come into the game a couple of times. Um, and then on offense, the, the defensive front seven of the Jets really got a lot of pressure on Andrew Luck. And the hodgepodge offensive line that the Colts are putting out there right now was just not able to get the job done. They have a lot of guys rotating in and out. Injuries are a factor there, and we'll get to that. But it's just not a cohesive unit right now. It's guys that aren't used to playing with other guys, and it's just you're just kind of trying to plug holes plug guys in the holes, see if they can stand up to the pressure, see how they react, and it's just not going very well, especially on Sunday in a road game. And the Jets' defense, give them a lot of credit because they haven't been playing as well either, and they really put together a nice game, especially that front seven and Cromartie on the outside on Reggie Wayne played a really nice football game. Um, but the last point I want to get to is how injuries and depth, the depth of the team, are really starting to rear its head and really starting to affect this Colts football team. So many guys are out. So many guys are nicked up and playing at less than 100%. And I understand that every team is going to have injuries and every team is going to go through things. But the problem with injuries is when you see so many injuries happen at the same time. Teams can sustain a level of play if one or two guys are down, two or three guys are down at a time. But right now the Colts are dealing with so many different injuries. And I want to list a couple that just came to me off the top of my head in so many different position groups. And we'll see if you recognize these guys from opening day's starting lineup. On the defensive line, you have Redding and Mawala. Linebacker, Pat Anger, Robert Mathis, Dwight Freeney. D-back, uh, defensive back. Vontae Davis, offensive line, Rice and Satelli, and then at running back, Donald Brown. Those are guys who all started for you on opening day of the season, and, and now they're just not there. They're nicked up with injuries, and if they are there, such as Freeney, he's playing not at 100%. Uh, Corey Redding not playing at 100%. 
those are why those guys aren't getting the pressure on Sanchez or whoever the quarterback is. They're not able to get in the backfield. And it's just all these injuries and all these depth are piling up right now for the Colts. And it's not spaced out. And that's how, the way you would like to deal with injuries is have it spaced out. So this is a big key. The Colts need to try to get healthy. I know it's hard in an NFL season to try to get healthy. But that's one big thing for the Colts. They have a home game coming up against Cleveland. The home crowd has been very nice for the Colts so far this season. They've played very well at home so far this season. So let's hope they get a, a win against the Browns who are coming off their first victory of the season against the Bengals. Uh, very good young running back in Trent Richardson. They have a rookie quarterback in Brandon Whedon who is just turned 29 over the weekend, so he's not really that young. Um, but he's played better of late his last two games. He's played much better than he did earlier in the season. and So it's going to be a matchup of rookie quarterbacks, and we'll see how that goes for the Colts. Uh, that's going to wrap it up for Monday Night Reaction tonight. We hope we have a better reaction come next Monday. But right now, the Colts just had a very, very poor showing against the Jets in New York. Thanks for stopping by AnySportsTrigger.com, and we'll see you again next time.